Hi, my name is Nino Leitner. I'm a director of photography based in Vienna, Austria. Today I want to show you the new Sachtla Ace Follow Focus. A follow focus allows you to change the focus point of a lens without touching the lens barrel directly. A focus puller has one of the most important jobs on a film set, because his or her work is critical for a professional result. Therefore, the quality of a follow focus system is crucial. The ACE Follow Focus builds upon the extensive experience with follow focusing devices within the Vitec group. Therefore, the ACE Follow Focus operates absolutely backlash free. Despite its low price point, it's very versatile. For example, it offers hard stops when used with photo lenses, it's double sided, and the direction of the drive gear mechanism can be changed. First, let's find out what kind of gear we need for the camera and lens setup we use. To mount the follow focus onto 15mm camera rods, ensure that the head platform is level and apply both the pan and tilt brakes. There is only one bridge clamp required to adjust the position of the rod bridge and to lock the follow focus on the rods. Next you have to decide to either use the supplied friction wheel with a 35mm diameter or the drive gear with 50 teeth. This depends on the kind of lens you're using. If you have a cinema lens or a photo lens which is equipped with a gearing, you should use the drive gear. In our case, we use a photo lens without a gearing and therefore we will use the friction wheel. We need it on the other side, but that's very quick and easy to change. Adjust the upper slide bridge until the friction wheel or drive gear engages with the camera lens gear. Then turn the bridge clamp to secure. The double-sided drive can be rotated to allow the gear mechanism to move in either direction. This might be necessary or preferable in some camera or lens configurations. For example, if you are used to the focus direction of Canon lenses and need to work with Nikon lenses on a shoot, this can be challenging. They move in opposite directions. With the ACE Follow Focus, you just rotate the gear mechanism and then you are able to operate it like you are used to it. To rotate the drive, use the supplied 3mm Allen key. Loosen the screw and rotate the drive 180 degrees and install back into position. The ACE Follow Focus comes supplied with two interchangeable marking discs that are easy to remove and replace. You have to ensure that the cutout on the marking disc is aligned with the point on the hand wheel. When you slide the marking disc over the hand wheel, it simply clicks into place if you aligned it correctly. Finally, let's look at the actual use of the ACE Follow Focus and how to set the focal distances. Reference points for the maximum and minimal focal distances can be marked on the marking disc. And a particularly practical feature? Hard stops allow the operator to set mechanical limits for modern photo lenses which usually come without those. Let's define those hard stops on a photo lens now. Rotate the hand wheel to find the macro focusing limit on the lens and use the disengaged hard stop slider button as an indicator. Then engage the hard stop slider button. Move the other marker to the infinity focus point of the lens. The macro and infinity limits of your photo lens are now defined. Next, let's mark the focus points for the particular shot at hand on the marking disc. Find the beginning and end points of your focus pull and mark the positions with a non-permanent marker on the marking disc. The hand wheel has a mount for an industry standard focus whip which allows you to pull the focus on the ACE follow focus from a distance. To see how to install and operate the ACE base plate and matte box, please watch the separate video tutorials. That's it for today. Hope to see you soon in one of our other Sachtler video tutorials.